as the ordinary citizen, there is um, significant reason uh, for going gold, and that is to safeguard state revenues. Because according to U.S. Uh, constitutional law, um, and this is uh, from Thompson v. Butler, Supreme Court case, a coin dollar is worth no more for the purposes of tender and payment of an ordinary debt than a note dollar. The law has not made the note a standard of value any more than the coin. And skipping down, the law knows no difference between them. Um, and this was recognized as binding legal authority as recently as 2008 by the Fifth Circuit. The Circuit Court uh, essentially ruled that a dollar is a dollar regardless of its physical embodiment. So what risks does this pose for the state in terms of tax collection? Again, we have a failure on the part of the Secretary of the Treasury to maintain the equal purchasing power of each kind of currency. So this creates significant risk for tax collectors as illustrated in the following slide. Let's say, for example, for example, someone were to buy a brand new car for a thousand silver dollars. Um, and just for ease of math, let's say that it, there's a 10% sales tax on that. So you have a hundred dollars that's, that's due in tax. Does the tax remitter pay that with paper dollars or with silver dollars? Um, as um, the same medium that was used for the purchase. Now again, we have um, established Supreme Court law that says a dollar is a dollar regardless of its physical embodiment. Strongly suggests that the taxpayer could uh, essentially transact in gold or silver and pay taxes in paper. And if that were done, the state would stand to lose up to 90 seven ninety eight percent of its of its tax revenues so that's a uh, a very serious fiscal price uh, crisis that could be facing states if this were adopted on any kind of scale I personally know people that um, that essentially do this they they transact in gold and silver and pay their taxes in paper um, which is can be viewed as an enormous windfall uh, for the taxpayer and yet under established Supreme Court precedence um, is something that um, is um, established as, as, as the law in that a dollar is a dollar regardless of its physical embodiment. So what Utah has done about this is in 2012 they uh, passed a law that essentially says if you transact in gold and silver coin you pay your taxes in the same medium. Uh, it's fair to the taxpayer, fair, fair to the tax collector, um, but to, in, as far as I know, no other state has done that, and so they are um, susceptible to this, to this aspect, um, and in all likelihood are not even aware of their tax revenue losses that that are occurring. So, um, so this would be um, the ninth uh, reason to shore up those. Um, uh, tax receipts uh, by state and local governments.